This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. Space, the final frontier. Sure, there's a lot, a hell of a lot happening up there that we don't know about. Scientists, physicists, and astronomers have been scratching their heads and hatching predictions and noting observations since record keeping began. From paintings on primitive caves to super advanced high-tech NASA programs, we've always been curious about space. And there's a lot to be curious and nervous about. From wandering black holes to rogue planets and exploding stars, there are events of such a destructive nature that it makes our lives on our little blue planet seem almost insignificant. Which astronomical events are the most destructive, and which of these have a chance of endangering us here on Earth? That's what we'll find out today on this episode of the Infographic Show, The Most Destructive Space Events. Out there in space, there are stars as large as 150 times the size of our own sun. And when these explode, they provide the brightest light source in the universe and produce more energy during this hypernova explosion than our own sun will produce in its 10 billion year lifetime. These explosions create radiation beams known as gamma ray bursts that astronomers consider to be the most powerful and destructive event in the universe. These rays could also be lessening our chances of finding life on other planets. One theory is that these GRB rays are simply sterilizing other life forms in the cosmos as they blast about in space. GRBs normally last from a few seconds to a few minutes of deadly blasts, but on some occasions can last an hour or longer. If you were living on a planet within striking distance, the only way to avoid this catastrophic event would be to build spaceships and space stations further away in the galaxy and evacuate the planet. These ray bursts were first discovered by accident during the Cold War, when the US sent a series of military satellites to monitor the radiation from nuclear tests and discovered radiation from GRBs. These rays are so bright, scientists can observe the GRBs from afar, and on average, one per day is observed. The Milky Way, our own galaxy, has never, to our knowledge, experienced the GRB. However, the Eta Carinae star is on the verge of going nova. Thankfully, it's over 7,500 light years away from Earth. We'll be safe from the rays when it explodes, but the light from the blast will be strong enough to light up the night sky here on our planet. So when it goes nova, we can stay up all night and read a book without having to switch the light on. Black stars are also known as black holes. A black hole is a region with such a strong gravitational force that nothing, not even particles and electromagnetic radiation, can escape from inside it. Once you're sucked in, you're history. The boundary of the region where one is sucked into the black hole is known as the event horizon. Most folks have heard of a black hole, but many are not sure what the phenomenon is. Picture an area in space where the gravitational force is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. The conditions here are so extreme that they have not been reconstructed in any laboratory environment. This region is so dense that an object the size of a ping pong ball would have the same mass as our entire planet Earth. Black holes are thought to form after massive stars go nova, shine brightly, and then collapse towards the end of their life cycle. Hence their alternative title, Black Star. After the black hole has been created, it can continue to expand by absorbing surrounding mass, swallowing up other planets and stars, and merging with other black holes and generally making an astronomical nuisance of itself. Right in the middle of our own Milky Way galaxy, a huge black hole of about 4.3 million solar masses dangerously hovers. The black hole phenomenon, first formed with Einstein's equations, were popular in science fiction stories. The theory of general relativity suggests black holes may be connected to wormholes, passages through space-time. But whether these wormholes actually exist, and if they are a gateway to time travel, is still open to debate among scholars. But for the purposes of science fiction novels, they are a wonderful mechanism to facilitate time travel. Our solar system has anywhere between eight or nine planets, but that's only counting the ones that stick to the plan. Rogue planets no longer orbit around something else and simply slip through the galaxy until they hit something or something hits it. As you can imagine, this can cause a rather destructive space event. Averaging the size of Jupiter, there are perhaps as many as 200 billion of these rogue planets pinging and ponging around space like balls in a pinball machine and collisions are a seriously destructive event. And now for destructive space event theories. Perhaps none are quite as potentially destructive as the vacuum metastability event. British theoretical physicist and professor at the University of Edinburgh, Pete Ware Higgs, pointed out in his Nobel Prize winning work that the universe could be held in a true stable vacuum or a false unpredictable vacuum. 
It is either one or the other. If we are living in a metastable vacuum, we could at any moment be sucked into the true vacuum, and all life as we know it in our universe would disappear in a flash of light and destruction. The universe as we know it is expanding continually, leading some scientists to predict a big rip hypothesis. This cosmological model predicts all matter in the universe, from the stars and galaxies to smaller matter like atoms, being progressively torn apart by the expansion of the universe until the big rip occurs. There is also a big crunch theory that is essentially a reversal of the cosmic expansion model. Some scholars have stated that the most potentially dangerous event in space history is the creation of intelligence. Intelligent life forms, such as our own, have a habit of destroying our surrounding environments both on the planet and in space. And should an alien life form have acquired a similar form of destructive intelligence, they may figure out a way to destroy the universe. But this is perhaps a little cynical and far-fetched. Albert Einstein noted that man created the atom bomb, but no mouse ever created a mousetrap. This ending is a bummer, isn't it? Let's switch subjects to something more positive. You know what we're about to say, build an amazing website with Wix. Wix is an awesome platform for anybody, whether you're a complete beginner, a business owner, a professional designer, or even a professional website builder. Plus, you'll never have to worry if your website is safe and secure because they take care of that for you. Whether it's a website for your e-commerce business, a restaurant, your band, or maybe just a blog, Wix does all the heavy lifting. Go to wix.com go slash infographics or click the link in the description and build the website you want and need today. So, how terrified are you of destructive space events? If your answer is not at all, then what does scare you? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to watch our other video called US Space Force, What Will It Do? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.